Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss further in two differential equations. And now we'll look at Euler's method. I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, Euler. Uh, anyways, in my earlier videos, I showed how direction fields could be used to find visual or graphical approximations to solutions of differential equations. So make sure to watch my earlier videos on um, direction fields, get a better idea for that. But basically, the basic idea behind direction fields can also be used to find numerical approximations to those solutions of differential equations. And basically, to illustrate the method, let's look at the same initial value problem used to introduce uh, direction fields. And this was from my earlier videos, so make sure to watch that. And, that, and the um, differential equation we use is y prime is equal to x plus y, and then the initial value was y of 0 is equal to 1. And now this differential equation basically tells us that when x is 0, uh, y prime of 0 is equal to, well we could plug in our 0 for x and 1 for y at the initial value and then the slope is equal to 1. So the solution curve has a slope 1 at the point 0 and 1. And as a first approximation to this solution at this initial value we could use a linear approximation it's the basic approximation of y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line and now what we know is well at at the point 0 1 well we know m is going to be the slope that's y prime and this is again at 0 1 is x plus y this equals to 0 plus 1 equals to 1 so the slope is 1 as I wrote down over there and now if we want to solve for the b we have y equals mx plus b, plug in the y is 1, m is 1, x is 0, and then b is just b. And this cancels, what we end up having is b equals to 1. So our first approximation is we'll, we'll write the y equals, and I'll just write it as L of x, just for, for uh, indicate it's a line. This equals 2, m is 1, so we have x plus b, which is 1. Oh, x plus b, 1. So this is our first approximation. Now, in other words, we could use the tangent line at 0, 1 as a rough approximation to the solution curve. And again, that tangent line is this equation of a line or a linear approximation we just uh, found. So, for example, if we were to draw that point, let's say this is our x and y axis. And let's say we had a solution curve that looked something like this. So let's say this is our solution curve. I'll write this solution cu curve in red. So that, let's say that's our actual solution. Yeah, so we assume that's our actual solution of this initial value problem. Again, where this point is a 0, 1. So 0 and 1 is the y. Let's say we want it to approximate up to x is 1. So we would take this line L of x, and then we would basically extend it, get the, the slope, I'll just get the, its tangent to it, so it would look something like this, and this is all the way up to here, so again, this is the uh, approximation, so this is our y equals L of x, which equals to x plus 1. But as you can see, so initially it's close to the uh, solution curve, but then as you get further and further, as you can see there, it is uh, further and further away from the solution. So it's not accurate here, but it is accurate here. So as, you, as you can see, it's really accurate to the solution curve and gets less and less as you extend it. And actually here, I just changed the color to blue and all uh, just to make it easier to graph. But anyways, uh, Euler's idea was uh, basically we can improve on this approximation by proceeding only a short distance along this tangent. Yeah, basically, as I explained here, it, uh, when you go very short, it's accurate. As the further away, it's less accurate. And then what we could do is, so we go short distance along the tangent line, and then we make a mid-course correction by changing direction as indicated by the direction field, which again has the slopes. So we can find the slopes at any point, and we'll use that in our approximation. So the figure below, and I'll draw that soon, shows... Uh, it shows what happens this typo if we start out along the tangent line but stop when x equals to 0.5 and then change the uh, direction so for example let's uh, draw this out again so 
erase that. So let's say this is our x and y axis, like that. And again, our red is the solution curve. Let's say that's our solution curve. So that's the solution curve, and then at this point, again, that's our 1, 0, like that. And now this is, let's say we're trying to approximate up to the 1, but we're going to break it up to the 0.5. So the first approximation is tangent uh, to this point, and then we're going to stop at the 0.5 instead of extending it further. So it's going to look something like this. So we stop right here, and then we get a new slope based on the direction field, because we can find the slope at any point, and then approximate by another line segment, it's going to have a different slope, let's say it looks something, and then that's tangent to the point here, actually it's tangent to the point, um, to the slope at this point right here, and that, that's again using that direction field, uh, you'll have slopes everywhere, so this is a second approximation all the way over there, and as you can see, this is a better approximation than this straight one right here, because this is uh, really far off from there. Initially it's close and then it gets further and further away, but now we've cut it off. So uh, we have this getting closer and closer to the solution. So this length right here, well this length, this line right here, we'll call this L1 of X, and this was our initial approximation X plus 1. So then this length across here, this is simply, uh, this is just L1 of 0.5 as x, this, and this would just equal to 0 0.5 plus 1, which equals to 1.5. So that's the height over there, and then we have this all the way down here, and we will call this curve, um, this line y equals 2, the second approximation, uh, L2 of x. Yeah, and now this horizontal distance of 0.5 is called the step size. So this distance across from 0 to 0.5 and 0.5 to 1. And now for the next line segment, we can take up the point 0.5 and 1.5 as the new starting point. That's this one here. So initially we had this one right here, which was 0, 1. And now the second point is right here at, at 0.5 and 1.5 and then we're going to do the exact same thing so now our approximation is going to be L2 of X which equals 2 again a line is just MX plus B slope times uh, X plus B and then what we have here at at uh, the point this is going to be uh, 0.5 so now we just find a new equation based on the new starting point and new slope. Yeah, so at this point right here, uh, our m is going to be equal to y prime of, again, 0 0.5, 1.5, we'll just uh, assume we know that. So this is going to be x plus y, and this is going to be 0 0.5 plus 1.5, which equals to 2. So that is our slope. And then again, solving for B, we have um, L2 of X equals 2, M, MX plus B, replace these all L2 of X, or we can just write Y, it's the same thing. Yes, yeah, so these are all the same thing. So, so L2 of, actually this is 0.5, yeah, so L2 of X. So we just plug this in, this is 1.5, which equals 2, the slope times 0.5 is the x, and then plus b, so we're solving for b, and then when we solve for b, 2 times 0.5 is the same thing as writing 2 over 2, this cancels, that's 1, plus b, so what we end up having is b is equal to 1.5, move this over, minus 1, which equals to 0.5. So, uh, put this all together, what we end up having is our... Uh, our function is going to be a L2 of X, or approximation, equals 2M, which is 2, times X, and then plus B, which is 0.5. So this is our second approximation. Oops. Yeah, and this, uh, this linear function is the new approximation to the solution for, well, X is greater than 0.5. And now, in fact, if we decrease the step size from 0.5 to 0.25, we get an even better Euler approximation. So I'll just draw how that looks like. So this is the x and y axis. Again, the solution curve is in red, so it looks something like that. 
and now this is at the point one zero now let's break it up again so this is point five this is let's say actually let's draw it closer in this is point five this is one so that's our one and then here is point seven five here is point two five and then uh, again the, if we were to get a approximation here we go up to this point so that's the first approximation then the next step we shift it. it's going to go up something like this so we have a point there there and then the next point is going to be something like this let's, see, let's draw this a bit straighter I'll just draw this straighter this is going to be something like this and then the last one like that and it gets something like this so as you can see it gets closer and closer when you have more and more uh, segments or basically smaller step size yeah so that's basically the idea of Euler's method and now let's look at it in general so basically in general Euler's method uh, says to start at the point given by the initial value and proceed in the direction indicated by the direction field or the differential equation and then stop after a short time, look at the slope at the new location and proceed in that direction. Same thing here, we can start here, uh, go here and then change, go here. And then keep stopping and changing according to the direction field. So basically do this and repeat. Yeah, so basically I'll start at a point and then look for a new location and proceed in a direction and then repeat over and over again. Anyways, uh, Euler's method does not produce the exact solution to an initial value problem but simply gives approximations. But regardless, by decreasing the step size and therefore increasing the number of mid-course corrections, we obtain successfully better approximations to the exact solutions. And again, you can compare the figures above, for example. You can hear, you see here is getting closer and closer to the exact, and then here is further away, but this was really far away, and then it gets closer and closer as you increase. And obviously, if you increase them a lot, it will be very, very accurate. So for the general first order initial value problem, yeah, let's put this in general. So let's say you have uh, the function y prime is equal to f of x y. So where we know the slope of the of the function and that that it's written as the um, differential equation, and we know the initial value x zero equals to y zero. So those are the initial, so let's say we had a differential equation such as like this where we can easily calculate the uh, slope and hence the direction field. Yeah, so for this initial value problem, our aim is to find approximate values for the solution at equally spaced numbers x0, x1, where x1 is equal to x0 plus h, where h is the step size, and x2 is uh, x1 plus h, x3 is x2 plus h, etc., and again h is the step size. The differential equation tells us that at the slope at x0, y0, or the initial value, is just simply y prime, and then plug that into the capital F function of x. Uh, this is x0, y0, so that the approximate value of the solution when x equals x1 is, well, let's draw this visually first, and then uh, numerically, uh, or, or using the equation. So if we were to do this, draw this all in general, this is our x, y function, so we have something like this. And again, our solution curve, let's say it looks something like that in red again. And this time, let's uh, let's say we our, our uh, starting point is somewhere here, just generally x0. So this is our starting point, and we want to approximate for x1. So let's say x1 is over here. So that's x1. And let's just extend x1 just to make it easier to graph dot 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 all the way up further and further. Yes, yeah, so that's our approximation is going to be again tangent to this point. And I'll draw it like this, draw a better line. Okay, yeah, actually here I drew it a bit better. So that's our point all the way up to here. So we can approximate up to there. And again, this point is our x0, y0. I'm just doing this all in general terms just to explain this further. So now, and then again, this point here is our 
uh, x1, y1 that we are trying to approximate. y1, the distance from here to here is simply h. And then this distance right here, this is actually, this is the, this is going to be h times f of x0, zero, y0. Zero. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'll explain that in a bit further if you haven't already understood why. And again, the slope of this line, slope is equal to f of x0, zero, y0. Zero. And uh, just a quick uh, recap to understand why this is h times, or this height is h times the slope. Again, recall that slope is equal to rise over run. And again, rise over run and have something like this. Rise, run. And then, so that's, that's basically uh, rise over run. You have a triangle like that. Right angle triangle. And then our slope in our case is going to be that from the differential equation. Uh, this is going to be uh, f of x0, zero, y0, zero, and that's our y prime, equals like this. And our rise over run, and in our case, is h. So again, rise is simply h times f of x0, zero, y0. Zero. And I'll write this bit neater. And again, that's where we have this part right there. So that's how you can see it. Visually, I'll just circle this. It's just a recap. So now when we look at this visually, so this height right here, this is the same height from uh, from here to here is equal to y0. So that's y0, this is the same thing here. This is y0. So the total height y1 is just gonna be the added part y0 plus h times the derivative. So, which equals two, so I'll write this thus, y1 is gonna be equal to y0 plus h times f of x0, y0. And then y2, for example, this one's gonna be equal to, actually before I write that, I'll just write this for completeness. And similarly, Similarly, so because we have y1, we can easily get y2. It's all the same uh, format. So y2 is going to be equal to y1 plus h of x1, y1. And, th and then in general, what we could do now is just keep going further and further and write in general what we end up having is y of n, where n is just any positive uh, number is equal to y of uh, n minus one. So the previous one plus h times f of, and then the previous one, n one, y n minus one. So there is our uh, formula for any, uh, any y value, or any approximation to the solution, at, and again, based on the step size, and then when you plug in the computer, you can get really small step size and get really accurate results. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, pretty uh, interesting video on Euler's method and it's uh, pretty in depth, hopefully uh, follow through is very important. This is used a lot in a lot of approximations to a lot of applications that you might not even be thinking too much about, but this is uh, everywhere. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.